Hello. It's 5.38 a.m. And guess what I'm starting to feel? Cold. I feel cold this morning. And it's like, I guess 75 degrees is what my phone is saying. So I'm going to try to do it. You know, me trying to do another video. Um, hopefully it won't take up much storage space on my phone. And here's that doggone what looks like a full moon. And, um... They have a whole bunch of stars lingering over me, but I don't think I see any drones, though. Well, that's a good thing, but um, the skies look like they have a little bit clouds, but mostly clear. And um, I'm I got completely no sleep last night and feeling totally deprived and still being attacked by ants. You know, the fact that it's supposed to be cold later tonight and then tomorrow, I'm hoping that this sleeping bag will be dry. Um, I'm hoping it would be dry and no ants. So, um, I'm probably going to have to be miserable tonight and tomorrow and the next few days. It seems like it's supposed to be a cold front or cold the next few days. Um, I'm about to put on my jacket and my socks. So, um, I, there's uproar about um, how black women, when bad stuff happens to them, like when they go missing or, you know, um, it's not shown in the media. But, you know, I heard about this black woman named oh what's her name Latanya Baxter and she came with her daughter from Pennsylvania to come here to Pensacola and was living with the roommate and they were both living with the male roommate and for at least I guess two months and he killed he, he killed um the mother and the daughter I guess the daughter didn't um, catch on or realize something was wrong until after two days and reported her mom missing. And I'm like, well, wow. I mean, they're not from Pensacola and they just moved here. And then she'd been missing since September 10th. And then Gabby Petito had been missing since the 11th. And, um, People, you know, understandably, you know, are outraged at why is no national media kept coverage for Latanya when the same, somewhat similar happened. And, and here, Gabby and the Brian guy, you know, what, what they, I mean, what Brian did to Gabby, I mean, um... You know, it's outrage that because Gabby and Brian and them, they're white, so they got far more media coverage than Latanya. And and I think they said that um, that boyfriend was homeless. I mean, I'm sorry, not boyfriend. Um, the roommate was homeless or something like that. And... Um, I read some comments and some people, I, I mean, because if you look into Latanya Baxter, um, like I, I saw at least about two YouTube videos that I saw about her and not that much coverage, you know, only local Pensacola news, um, like P Pensacola News Journal and WEAR TV about Latanya Baxter. And the Giles Jones guys is the guy who killed her. And some people say that, um, I, I mean, like, I heard that, you know, since Latanya and her daughter moved from Pens Pennsylvania to Pensacola and wanted a fresh new start in, on life, and then the Giles Jones guy, you know, was living with them for a couple of months, and then um, he killed her, he killed Latanya, and took a picture of her dead body, but then hid her body somewhere in the woods or something. And he got, they found him by on um, the, the, um, by the, 
Greyhound station. And then um, they found him and arrested him, but they still have not yet found Latanya's body. And so um, I read in certain comments on a couple of videos, one per, I mean, a couple of people on one video were saying that, that, um, you, you know, this, that she could have been, that Latanya probably, you know, got killed for her organs or something like that, you know, and, and the guy, um, they, you would see in his eyes, people would say he looks crazy, you know, and, and all you hear, like, I'm getting really scared hearing all these murder Nothing but murder going on. What's going on with everything and everybody? And that's why I'm scared for my life every day. You know, me being a homeless targeted individual and disabled, you know, people thought it was good advice. Like, that's how I know they were perps because you really think it's good advice for me to go from me being homeless on the streets to um, a guy that's lying and saying that he's targeted and trying to bait me in and trying to send me to either i mean send for me to go to either wyoming or chicago or milwaukee i mean or somewhere in wisconsin or cincinnati ohio a female a fake ti perp female trying to act like she wants to traffic me i mean send me to pennsylvania to traffic me overseas or who knows what i don't know but that's why me trying to be you know, extra careful of, you know, somebody claiming to be targeted and then offer for me to come stay by them and offer everything free and then get abusive when I turn down their offer and then make smear campaigns and lies about me and lie and say, oh, you want to be homeless or you just want, you're stupid and you just want to sleep outside or oh, you just want everybody's money. You ain't, you don't want no help and stuff like that when I'm, you know, I'm trying to be cautious because, you know, certain things I've done in my life, people call, try to call me stupid or say I made a mistake or wasn't wise or I was vulnerable or naive and certain, you know, certain bad things that happened to me that I didn't much really know any better about, you know. But nowadays it's like nobody can be trusted in I wonder, is that the reason why more and more people are betraying each other and turning their backs on each other? Because they're suspicious before somebody can be guilty of doing something, people are suspicious of each other, you know, and it's really frightening out here. Um, and, 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 you know, me being out here by myself, you know, they've had a couple of people, like, throughout this year offered me, <clears throat> you know, even in New Orleans a couple of times, I was on walking on Canal Street and the guy, you know, like me being homeless and targeted, they'll act like as if they want to offer me, you know, to come, a, a guy, a single guy, you know, acting like he wants to try to lure me by, you know, trying to say, well, hey, you know, you can come to my house and eat and shower and everything will be okay and, you know, I got raped March 6, 2020 um, by a guy who turned out to be a multiple-time criminal, and he got me really good because there was another guy who was trying to get me, <clears throat> but I turned him down. But this other guy was more slick than he lied. I mean, he, well, his grandma really was there. But, you know, he, I mean, I don't want to go into detail, but, you know, he pretty much, you know, rape me and stuff, and <clears throat> me being out here, <clears throat> I guess it was last month or a few weeks, a couple of weeks ago, a man touched me on my ass, and then another time earlier this year, about a couple of months before that, you know, I don't know if it was the same or a different man touched me on my ass, then I got Alex Dupree stalking, following, and harassing me, uh, you a, you a man, you know, and nobody sees, it's like, here, I'm a black female crying out for help. You know, I'm a black female crying out for help and support, and it's like, you know, 
even even other other black people don't have each other's backs until after you're dead. That's when every all these other black people want to step in and care. You, you know. So you know, other blacks will oppress you and don't give a damn about you until after you're dead. And then when you're dead, they want to pretend like they care and then cry about Black Lives Matter. You know, so, I mean, I'm praying. It looks like it's starting to get light outside. I could be wrong. But um, I'm praying that they find Latanya Baxter's body. You know, this video is not about me. I'm using myself as an example, but this is not about me. It's, you know, I mean, my heart goes out to Latanya and also um, Gabby Petito and, um, and, you know, I think I heard somebody named Jelani Day or something like that. Um, she's another one. And then you you hear you've been hearing a lot of stories mainly about black people. Um, Willie D Live, he has the video. I mean the channel. He used to be part of a music group called uh, Ghetto Boys or something. I don't. I never even heard of that music group back in the late '80s. Where was I? I was a little kid. But um, all he talks about, you know, is is um, you know a lot of things about like black black um couples like you know one one boyfriend like a, <clears throat> a like say for example a, a a boy i mean somebody's boyfriend killed i mean like a, a female will have a um a, a that's the freaking garb the garbage dumpster i hope y'all can hear me with that loud noise in the background Conveniently, after I start my videos, when they have that loud um, dumpster truck distracting me, so um, and then I heard about Mercedes Moore. She was murdered. Um, she was like the Instagram model, and they did a lot of victim blaming, um, trying to say that oh she should she. She should. I mean, they try to come up with all kinds of, you know, um, they, they try to come up with all kinds of, you, you know, ways to blame her for her for herself being murdered, and, and trying to make like, you know, oh, she shouldn't have put herself out there and whatever. I don't remember if she was on TikTok, OnlyFans, or whatever. I don't know which one of those. Or Instagram or something like that. I don't remember. But all I know is these freaking ants are biting me up, tearing me up. It looks like it's really starting to get lighter outside. So I got no sleep last night. And I don't know if I'll get to have a job opportunity today. I'm not fit to work today because I'm so sleep deprived. I'm not fit to sleep. I mean, I'm not fit to work today because I'm sleep deprived. But shucks, I have. Um, I mean, the sleep deprivation is worse when I got some sleep, and then it's the first day or two being sleep deprived. So, you know, rest in peace to both Latanya and Gabby and the other ladies. You know. Um, <laughs> And it's like, also, I heard about August Alcina. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. He's from New Orleans, like us. And I heard that, um, I heard that his health ain't too well. Oh, there, there they go over there. But how he come from way over there to over here when they probably have other dumpsters? This is, see, even the garbage can, I mean, the garbage truck participate in gang stalking. You know, so, I'm sleepy, sleep deprived and tired and not in my right mind and 
And when I say not in my right mind, I'm not that meaning that I'm deprived and not alert and just, you know, need some sleep and can't get it because it's about to get light outside and the ants are increasing. And, um, you know, I'm just, wow. It's very hard to try to survive. Um, I, I need a way to get some additional income. So that thing is distracting. So I'm gonna go for now. I just wanted to, um, you know, briefly talk about the Latanya Baxter situation.